Knowing our own minds. One shorthand term for this I, this self whose nature we want to know, is mind. Mind is a useful, general term that covers everything that goes on in our inner world, both at conscious and unconscious levels our mind is our thoughts, our feelings, our memories. It is the pictures and images we visualize, the music we sing to ourselves, the sense we make of the outer world, the consciousness we have of our own existence, the hopes and dreams we have for the future, the morals and values we carry with us and by which we live, the expectations and demands we make of ourselves and of others and at the same time it is those deeper, hidden reaches which lie below the level of immediate awareness, but which nevertheless, in ways I shall discuss as we go along, profoundly influence our thoughts, our actions and our emotions. The mind is in fact the inner magic theater where we enact the drama of our lives. And like any theater it includes both the action on stage and the action off stage, the actors and the playwrights, the conscious mind that thinks and knows that it thinks, and the unconscious mind that moves in quite different, hidden ways. So to know ourselves, to know who we are, is to know our own minds, both at conscious and unconscious levels which is a quite different form of knowing from the kind we imply when we say of decisive people that they know their own minds. It is a form of knowing which takes in, directly, what our minds actually are. A form of knowing which involves the, at first sight, impossible task of being, at the same time, both the mind that is known and the mind that knows. A form of knowing that, at first seems as out of the question, as being asked to gaze into our own eyes, 